All right, so we'll get over here into NX. Um, obviously, we're just, in a, we're just in a regular drawing here. If you open up the FCF dialog, um, you'll see first and foremost, even if I actually expand it out and, and show the uh, the inherit and those other um, sections of the command, it's it's very minimal. Um, we definitely repurposed a lot of those a lot of those functions that were on that FCF command. Um, and and one of the things you'll notice as, as I go through this, um, there's two there's two areas to manipulate this with. One is on screen, kind of you'll see these these on screen handles and these glyphs on screen, and then also a lot of the formatting and stuff like that up top across this context tab. So on screen here, um, you can, this these, these are your tools for the composite versus the uh, the single frame here. You have like this drop down box. Um, you have the adding a new frame for the composite to add right there. Um, it just takes the settings for the ones that's uh, that's already selected. So if I change this to, to point three up in the context tab and I press this add button right here, it adds another one that's also point three. Um, you have your on screen um, flexibility in uh, um, with these com th these uh, compound frames here of uh, moving it up and kind of reordering and moving up and down and kind of having that on-screen flexibility. Again, just, just kind of showing that on-screen workflow. Um, and, but then also, if, if you'll notice, so so that, that old dialog, the kind of the extensive FCF dialog was, was obviously vertical. It had a lot of uh, the real estate um, going up and down, but you're building a, a, an FCF horizontally. Your your annotation type kind of kind of builds left to right as you build it. So you can kind of see um, with your characteristics right here on the on the left, you can kind of see you're building um, this the uh, the annotation as you go. So again, this is the uh, this actually also recognizes your previous command or your previous values that you that you keyed in. Um, but you, but yeah, again, so you, you can you can change your tolerances, you can change your your shape or or, or what have you going across with your with your modifiers. Um, also, your datums. Um, this this is interesting as well. You can add these modifiers to your datums, but then uh, for compound datums, kind of like we saw with the composite frames, we have the flexibility of the uh, of reordering and moving these around. We'll we'll take some we'll take some of these off. Um, and then again, if you press the add new, which is the same in both areas, so there's add new, um, it takes the one that you're uh, that you're currently working with. Uh, include, which is the uh, the indicators. Yours will actually have a symbol there, so I guess I'm working off an older phase. But uh, but yeah, the, the indicator panes, um, you can change these as well. The same flexibility on the on screens of uh, of moving left, and uh, and and kind of reordering those. We can change these characteristics here and what it's uh, what, what it's referencing, and then again showing that reordering um, as well. And then if you look at the text, so again, with the appended text for FCF, again, this this takes into account your. Uh, um, the new modernized dialogue here, so again, if you if we show this, it shows the appended text um, appearing above and below that FCF. So again, it is really kind of it takes that context tab from modernized note. It it, it really almost uh, has a has a paradigm shift of, of actually building your FCFs horizontally and left to right and really going with that workflow. Um, and again, it's really nice to also see the uh, um, the dialogue real estate for FCF get reduced as well. Um, I did see in the chat. Thanks, Dave, for answer answering. Um, it is the, the same exact UI for both PMI and drafting uh, environments. Cards driven by digitalization.